What's up Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video. And today I want to go over my lineup update for this 96 overall Broncos theme team. Now if you do enjoy this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe so you can see future content. But getting into this team, I didn't make a ton of upgrades. Uh, we haven't gotten any new players in the last couple weeks, unfortunately. With Campus Heroes 2 releasing, we saw literally no cards out of those 11 cards that dropped. The last couple uh, Legends weekends, we haven't seen anything. When Team of the Week came out this week, with both Weeks 14 and Weeks 15, we saw literally zero cards for that. Um, and then when Flashbacks came out yesterday, we didn't get any cards for that either. But I did make some upgrades uh, specifically to some of the non-Broncos players on this team. Uh, so I think you'll definitely see uh, some nice upgrades here uh, if you watched the last video. Uh, but either way, this is a outstanding team. I love this team. Uh, starting off with the offensive line, though, we've only got one Denver Broncos player on here, Matt Paredes at center. Everybody else is a non-Broncos uh, member on this team. It was a good opportunity for me to, you know, get the best offensive line out there. Uh, so at left tackle, we got Anthony Munoz, 95 overall. Left guard, we got John Hanna, 96 overall. Uh, Matt Paredes at center is a, a 95 overall. Quentin Spain, 97 overall at right guard. And Dan Deardoff over at right tackle. Uh, for quarterback, I went back to Dan Marino, actually. Um, I uh, played around with Derrick Henry for the last couple of weeks a lot. I had a lot of fun with it, but um, at the same time, I don't really scramble out of the pocket a lot. Um, I did find that card to be really good. He probably is still the best quarterback in the game, but I like having Hot Route Master available to me. Um, and this Dan Marino card, he's got the the best release in the game, uh, Slinger 1, which is the, symbol, it's the same as the Aaron Rodgers release. Um, and for abilities, I'm using Hot Route Master, Pass Lead Elite, and Pocket Dead Eye on him with the Gambler X Factor. Uh, Dan Marino does have 80 speed, 94 throw power, 93 short accuracy, 95 medium accuracy, 96 deep accuracy, 96 throw under pressure, 82 throw on the run, and 96 play action. Um, I mean, I used Dan Marino toward the beginning of the year uh, when uh, his Team Diamond, Diamonds card uh, with, uh, first got released. And this card was really good. Obviously, he was the only quarterback in the game for a while that had Hot Route Master. Um, but I don't know. There's just something about the Dan Marino card. His release is just super quick, even without Gunslinger. And whenever he does eventually get an upgrade, which I imagine probably won't be for another month or two, maybe with an Ultimate Legends release or something like that. Uh, but whenever he does get an upgrade and has the Gunslinger uh, ability available to him, he's going to be even better. Uh, for running back, this is a position that I upgraded. I uh, went with Ricky Williams, in my opinion, the best running back in the game. Uh, there are a couple other good running backs out there. Um, I would say Fred Taylor and Adrian Peterson at this point in the game right now are probably the two best running backs after Ricky Williams. Uh, but Ricky's got 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 89 agility, 92 carrying, 81 catching, 92 change of direction, 97 trucking, and 97 break tackle. Uh, awesome card. I'm running the bulldozer ability on him. Uh, for wide receiver one, we got Jerry Judy. Uh, Jerry on this theme team here has 99 speed. Obviously, he gets the plus two boost uh, for being a Denver Bronco and me having 50 Broncos players. I've also got two wide receiver strategy cards that give me a, a plus one speed, so plus two total. Uh, so he's at 99 speed, 90 jumping, 89 catching, 86 catch in traffic, 89 spec catch, 95 short route running, 95 medium route running, and 94 deep route running. Uh, for wide receiver two, I got Tim Pratt, Tim Patrick, uh, the stocking stuffers card. He has 98 speed, 92 jumping, 94 catching, 89 catching traffic, 91 spec catch, 85 short route running, 86 medium route running, and 93 deep route running. He's also six four, six foot four, uh, which is uh, you know nice to have another tall receiver. I'm running the deep out elite ability on him. Oh, for uh, Jerry Judy, I'm also running the uh, route technician ability on him. Uh, wide receiver three, I got Brandon Marshall. Uh, Marshall has a 97 speed, 96 jumping, 96 catching, 92 catching traffic, 96 spec catch, 93 short route running, 95 medium route running, 98 deep route running, and he's also six foot five, so another really tall receiver on the squad. Uh, for tight end, uh, and honestly, probably my favorite card on the offense, uh, Vernon Davis, the best tight end in the game right now, uh, without a doubt. Uh, he's got 97 speed on this theme team with 76 strength, 95 catching, 93 catch in traffic, 95 spec catch, 93 short route running, 96 medium route running with 78 blocking. Uh, just an awesome card. I mean, I, 
he uh, never misses anything. He gets open all the time. He has a super fast release off of the line. Um, I'm running the deep out elite ability on him, also with the double me X factor. Uh, moving on to the defense, and honestly, this defense is the main reason why I picked this steam team uh, because of how many de how many defensive backs can get to 99 speed, and even and and, um, and then a few additional ones that can get to 98 speed. So I have four defensive backs that can get to 99 speed on this theme team and then another three that can get to 98 speed which is just insane uh, there's not another theme team out there that can even match this uh, that comes close to it in my opinion uh, so starting off with uh, cornerback one i have a keep to on the theme team he's got 99 speed that includes the plus two boost and then also uh, plus two speed for having uh, two of the in the zone uh, strategy cards so he's got 99 speed, 96 acceleration, 94 agility, 98 jumping, 94 play rec, 97 man coverage, 95 zone coverage, 96 press. He's also six foot one. Uh, honestly, he's still, in my opinion, uh, probably a top three cornerback in the game right now, even though he came out probably like six weeks ago. Uh, he's been in the game for quite a while. I'm running the acrobat ability on him. For cornerback two, I'm using Patrick Sertain. So Patrick Sertain can only get to 98 speed, but I use him on as my other outside wide receiver because of his height. He's six foot two, uh, which height is essential for your outside cornerbacks are also going to get mossed. Uh, um, so he's got 98 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 agility, 98 jumping, 89 play rec, 96 man coverage, 96 zone coverage, 95 press. Awesome card. Um, so he has that 94 team of the week powered up to 95. Um, and then I have him as a 97 overall uh, with, his, uh, strat with his strategy cards and the theme team boosts. For cornerback three, I'm using Chris Harris. Uh, Chris Harris is a slot archetype cornerback, and I am using him in the slot um, in my scheme. He has 99 speed, 96 acceleration, 97 agility, 99 jumping, 92 play rec, 97 man coverage, 95 zone coverage, 91 press. He's only five foot ten, which is a little shorter than I would like for a cornerback. Um, but that 99 jumping, I feel like makes up for it a little bit. Um, I'm also using the uh, mid zone KO ability on him, so he gets uh, some faster reactions in that slot area. Uh, for cornerback four, um, and I do use him in every single down. Uh, Ty Law. Uh, Ty Law has got 99 speed, 96 acceleration, 97 agility, 98 jumping, 93 play rec, 96 man coverage, 97 zone coverage, 96 press. Uh, he's 5 foot 11. I use him in that um, curl flat, hard flat safety area. Uh, so where your strong safety normally would be. Um, also running the mid zone KO ability on him. For uh, starting free safety, and he plays my deep zone safety, uh, Brian Dawkins. He's got 99 speed, 96 acceleration, 90 uh, tackling, 95 play rec, 92 pursuit, 83 man coverage, 97 zone coverage, 96 hit power. Uh, he's six foot flat. Um, I'm running that deep in zone KO ability on him. Uh, this guy's just been awesome. I mean, he's so versatile uh, with his, um, his zone coverage, his speed. Um, he's got decent height. I would like a little bit taller of a safety personally, but um, he's only got 83 man coverage, which is definitely his weak zone. Um, so I wouldn't put him in any kind of uh, man coverage uh, situations. For a backup free safety, I have Taylor Mays. Taylor Mays plays the middle for me. Um, I use him most of the time because of his height and his speed. He's got 98 speed, 96 acceleration, 89 tackling, 95 play rec, 95 pursuit, 92 man coverage, 98 zone coverage, 96 hit power. And again, he's six foot three. I'm running that mid zone KO ability on him. Um, I do use him, but I also um, use my other middle um, sub linebacker often also uh, because of the fact that. Um, Taylor Mays has that 92 man coverage, uh, which is insane. Um, so if I need to have one of my middle guys manned up on a running back or on a tight end, uh, Taylor Mays can definitely get that done for me. For starting strong safety, who I also use in my uh, middle area. So if I'm not using Taylor Mays, then I'm using John Lynch. Uh, John Lynch has 98 speed, 95 acceleration, 93 tackling, 93 play rec, 95 pursuit, 82 man coverage. 
a 95 zone coverage, 95 hip power. He is six foot two. Um, not shown here is his block shed, which I believe is like 93 or 94. He's a run support archetype safety. Uh, so he's got really good block shed. Um, again, I'm running that mid zone uh, KO ability on him. Um, and as you can see here, I don't, I don't even use Cam Chancellor most of the time because of the fact that my safeties and my cornerbacks are so good that Cam Chancellor is actually a downgrade for me. So at this point in the game right now, um, Cam can only get up to 96 speed on a theme team and with the theme team boost. He, he can only get to 92 speed um, on his own um, if you have him upgraded, um, maxed out. And then with the plus two speed for the theme team and also the strategy cards, he can only get to 96 speed, which is two speed lower than any other defensive back that I have on here right now. I do use him on the field sometimes. He is my back, back up strong safety. Um, so I have him, if I play like a, a three three five setup uh, sometimes in some like obvious passing situations, or if I play a uh, quarter or something like that, then I will have Cam Chancellor on the field. Uh, but he does not see the field uh, that often for me because of uh, his lack of speed. And speaking of Cam Chancellor, again, here he has a 96 speed, 97 acceleration, 94 tackling, 94 play rec, 93 pursuit, 88 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, 93 hip power. He is six foot three, which is really nice. Um, I have, uh, you know, the deep zone uh, ability uh, in on him. I don't actually have his ability activated. Um, that's still just in there because it was only one AP when I was using him as my deep safety. Um, but again, he doesn't see the field a ton for me, just in obvious uh, passing situations. Moving on to pass rushers, DeMarcus Ware, who, again, in my opinion, is the best pass rusher in the game right now. Um, he's got 95 speed on this team team, 96 acceleration, 90 strength, 90 tackling, 93 play rec, 95 block shed, 93 power move, and 96 finesse move. No other pass rusher in the game right now has uh, stats like that. Um, I'm running the unpredictable ability on him. My other edge rusher that I use is Elvis Dumerville. Um, I took the wrong uh, screenshot here, uh, but Elvis Dumerville has uh, 88 speed, I believe. Um, his um, uh, finesse move is over 90 along with his block shed, but his power move is not. And uh, for um, specialists, I just put in here, in case you guys were curious how I got to that 96 overall, because uh, you do need to upgrade your punter in order to get there. Uh, so I just threw in Jack Fox. He's the highest uh, overall punter right now with a 91 overall. Uh, Matt Prater obviously played for the Broncos, so 91 overall kicker uh, with the uh, focus kicker ability on him. So he gets the slower kick meter. And then I use uh, Jerry Judy as my kick returner, punt returner, um, because he's got that 99 speed. Uh, and then for my specialist area, obviously I'm using Ricky for both my third down and power back. Um, Tim Patrick plays a slot for me because he's got that 98 speed. Um, and then as I mentioned, Chris Harris is my slot cornerback. Uh, Elvis Dumerville and Demarcus Mayer, my edge rushers. Uh, Vince Wolfork and Jack Youngblood are my interior linemen. Um, I do have the inside stuff ability on Vince Wolfork and the unpredictable uh, ability on Jack Youngblood. And then uh, John Lynch, obviously my sub linebacker with uh, Taylor Mays as my other sub linebacker. Uh, and then again, my strategy cards, um, I got the two deep route specialists and then the two in the zone. And then I, I run the Miami Dolphins offense and Miami Dolphins defense. Um, I'm a Miami Dolphins fan. So I've just gotten really comfortable with those two playbooks over the years. Uh, so I still continue to use those uh, when I can. And that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video and if you like this style of video, please drop a like down below. Um, it does help the channel out a lot when you do that. And if you could subscribe uh, so you can see future content, um, I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you for watching.